Good evening and welcome to Trinity House Theater. I'm Bill Keith and on behalf of the board and all the volunteers at the theater, it's a pleasure to welcome you here tonight for another evening of music. I don't know about you, but I wish we were able to have you live and in person here in the theater. We've missed that quite a bit over the past year. But we're excited to offer this concert tonight live recorded on the Trinity House stage. And we've got some great artists to share music with you. And I want to mention really quick, too, that you can support these artists and also the work of the theater through your gifts at our website. Or if you want to go the old-fashioned way and send it via U.S. mail, you can do that, too. Please join us in welcoming to the Trinity House Theater stage Kyle Rashi, Mike Ward, and Emma Guzman. Uh, my name is Mike Ward. My name is Emma Guzman. Hey everybody, my name is Kyle Rashi. I'm a songwriter uh, living in Detroit. Um, and I guess current projects are uh, that I released an album earlier this year uh, called The Darkness and the Light. And uh, that's music that's been around for a little while. So I've been actively working, writing new material. And I hope to get back in the studio later this year. I am from Mount Clemens. And um, recently I was the recipient of the Title Unplugged grant. They came to Detroit and they selected five artists. And they kind of helped us with like mentorship and equipment. And um, they gave us some studio time. And I got um, three singles banged out, and there's lyric videos, and the third one, Strawberries, has its own music video, so that's pretty sweet. It's up on YouTube, and um, moving forward, I'm recording another full-length album pretty soon, and um, I also have a couple singles in the works, too, so be on the lookout for that. I'm a Michigan singer-songwriter. I release music as Chain of Lakes, and I've been doing that for about 10 years now. And uh, yeah, I have a, some quarantine songs that I've been recording and working on. I have a new project dropping uh, beginning in May and a full length record hopefully following pretty soon after that. Wow, welcome everyone. Welcome Emma. Thank you. Welcome Kyle. Thanks Mike. I'm gonna be the first one to go here, but uh, we're, we're really happy to be here on this stage. We, uh, it, the only way it could be better is to have actual uh, audience out there. Aside from the great crew that's uh, filming this, uh, it would be great to have a live audience. But we're gonna, we're gonna just pretend, and uh, we, we, uh, we hope you will enjoy this evening. Uh, I'm gonna start with a song called Content, and uh, I like to tell people that this song is far less about whether you're gonna be content with uh, how things are in the world today, but more about are you gonna be content with how you're viewed when you're gone, when you leave this world? Caught a cold when I wasn't even chasing it. Saw the light when I wasn't even facing it Found myself when I wasn't even lost Built a bridge that I still have never crossed Tried to escape without really ever leaving I was telling the truth when I make believing Harder I look at things, seems the less I see When searching for a forest, all I found was a tree It's a simple life in a complex world One what's mine and you want what's yours But when you're all by yourself and the money is all spent are you gonna leave this world completely content? Used to sit in a cube trying to think out of the box If I only knew more about bonds and stocks 
I'm on the fence between the future and the past Watching time pass slowly but I think it's gaining fast Sometimes I wish that I had smoked more dope Read more books and maybe used less soap Gone to sleep later, planted more trees Learned a language to save fromage instead of cheese It's a simple life in a complex world I want what's mine and you want what's yours but when you're all by yourself And the money's all spent Are you gonna leave this world Completely content? Whether it's a paradox or A paradigm A pair of twos or a pair of nines Full house beats three kings every single time And close only counts in shuffleboard and landmines Is it possible to hate the very thing you love? Possible to be full yet never, never get enough? Am I on the bottom while I'm climbing to the top? I'm about to get going, but I think it's time to stop. It's a simple life in a complex world. Want what's mine and you want what's yours. But when you're all by yourself and the money's all spent, are you going to leave this world completely content? Are you going to leave this world completely <laughs> Thank great. you. Thank you. I'm going to turn it over to Emma. All right. It's nice to be uh, playing live in a way again, you know. Seeing you play up close, it's nice. It's like <laughs> it's not through a screen anymore. Um, yeah, I'm going to play uh, three of my tunes or uh, some singles that I re released um, over this past year. And um, they're all kind of about like growing up and letting go. And uh, this one's more about the letting go. So this one's called Irene. Winter's winds reveal all. How's it feel? Stiff in the warmth with my runaway bride. You ran away with my pride. Mm -hmm. Irene, Thank mm -hmm. you. 
My name is Kyle Rashi. I'm from Alto, Michigan. Um, this is my first time here at the Trinity House. But I was invited to be in the open mic gang uh, a few months back by Ward and Terry Burkett and my Uncle Rich. Uh, and so I know about the Trinity House. I know you're good people. So it's really cool to be here. So thank you. Uh, this is a get to know Kyle song, I guess. It takes you takes you through my story a, a bit. It's called Slices. I dropped all the classes. I packed up the mercury. I had eyes on Colorado. A guitar in my backseat. Now I got high out in those canyons. I made songs I cared to sing. One of the slices of life I wouldn't trade for anything. Saw city for the taking, man it took me for a loss I poured coffee for poor call girls, trying to translate for the bosses I traded jingles to record, spent most nights on the floor One of the slices of life I wouldn't care for I failed and so I used all that I could to keep me out of my head man the getting then was good oh it left me all alone though and I let it follow me around one of the slices of life you spend some others living down oh we met on the veranda then we married in a church We've had ups and downs Just sorting out the better from the worst All the kisses and collisions Now the dishes and the lawn One of the slices of life I like to hang my head upon Me, I'm still singing now I'm writing songs again You know I've always known I'd be here And only just realized I'd left Oh, the babies came in minutes And now they're all my little girls The only slice of my life I love the most in this whole world So raise a glass to living Pour another one to death 
And all the slices of life we haven't even tasted yet There's no itching around the sorrow, the regret, or empty cups It's just the price of a life, is all those slices pile up It's the price of a life, is all those slices pile up So I've known, known Emma for a few years. We've met at some, through open mics, through uh, different uh, artists that we, we both follow and we both have uh, done shows with. Um, I don't think we've done a show together, have we? Oh, I, I think, think we might I have. I think we did at we the Dovetail, have. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. we did. Um, uh, and Kyle and I met at Farm mm -hmm. a couple years ago. You played right after me. Yeah, you were very. It was very sweet because you were coming on, and there's no transitions there. So you were yeah. coming on, and you'd stop me, and you're like, "I'm Mike. <laughs> yeah. you know, I'm gonna find you later." And you're just walking up to the house. Oh, that was a nice guy. And, and we have uh, we have remained friends since that time. And I'm in uh, a songwriting group with uh, with Kyle right now called the Song Hall. Right? Yeah, you're our newbie. Uh, I'm the newbie. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna play. Uh, a song that came out of uh, uh, John Lamb's retreat a couple years ago. And this is uh, called Our Turn to Shine. It was part of the record as well that I just released. So. I'm the last of my kind An incandescent life from another time Slow to turn on, I won't last long Sort of like this old song I'll be replaced by an LED 820 lumens like a new TV Find a man at Lowe's home improvement Part of the next youth movement Energy efficient for decades to come By the time it goes dark I'll be gone, I'm a dinosaur made of glass and tin Take me out, screw a new one in But for now, I light the way Brighten up your everyday If only for a short time It's still my turn to shine I can chase away the night I'm the perfect reading light Whether it's an old newspaper Or an Elmore Leonard caper When I'm done, reuse my glass And those tiny little wires of brass Can't do much with a broken filament When it's no longer radiant But for now, I like the way Brighten up your everyday If only for a short time It's still my turn to shine it's still my turn to shine I've been flickering for a little while I'm on my last mile Let me illuminate your smile Before I go out of style In the days before lamps We'd sit around the camps Look to the fire For all we desired Maybe that day we'll return when all we will burn is ourselves in the sun We'll let it light our way Brighten up our everyday Whoa, whoa, for the rest of time It's our turn to shine We'll let it light our way 
Lighting up our everyday oh, oh, For the rest of time This is usually where people sing along So <laughs> join me if you want It's our turn to shine 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 Thanks for thanks for joining in. Thanks for joining in. I love how yeah, it was a I secret. To, yeah, we've been hanging out for a couple hours now, you know. Well, I was, I, honestly, I was thinking about not playing that song tonight, and then I thought, I have people on the stage with me. Why would I not a do something song. that that could possibly be sung along? With is me? is that the Lamb's version that you presented? Uh, it's much, changed a little bit, but it's it's pretty close actually. That one's pretty close. There's a lot of Lamb songs floating around, aren't there? Yeah, there are. Yeah, oh, good too. Go for it, Emma. All right. Sorry if I look scared at any point. Um, we were doing sound check earlier, and a moth was on my shoulder. So now I'm like very paranoid. There was like a little tickle in my shirt, and I'm like, oh my god. They're not even scary. I just don't. I just don't want them on me. I don't think we blame you for that. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, so the, the whole idea of like growing up and letting go, this one's more of like the instruction manual that I wrote for someone else to learn to let me go. So this one's called Woman.
reaches for the steps, but the love just stayed there. So you give up your woman, now that life does your part. As the earth turns, so does the heart, and you'll find your footing. And she'll travel far, and these memories will last till our eyes fill. No Kyle songs. <laughs> These are all new to everyone but me because we haven't gotten to play shows for such a long time. But uh, my, my, this kind of takes you through uh, my musical journey, which isn't that unique, I don't think. I think most people that play songs and instruments learn to sing and play in, in school and church, and, and then they move to the bars, and then some people take the bar home a little bit too, <laughs> a little more than others, and then. Uh, my story then found me playing a lot of lullabies for my little girls, and then, and then my story found some peace in the last few years playing places like this and with, with people like you guys, so this is kind of about that. It's called The Wedding Singer. I was a wedding singer before now most of those end in divorce Not because of my singing But it still got me thinking I'm not doing that shit anymore I was a barroom singer for years Jim Beam, Oasis, and Beer well, I'd do that again Just to sing with Flynn Man, I wish that kid was still here Corner of the bar Superstar Top shelf above the bar stage It's where I sing and play The night away I 
the guitars under real country stars man it warms my soul to the core corner of the yard superstar no one mispronouncing my name I found an audience a writer friend an audience of writer friends I found an audience of songwriter friends so you can have your damn game <laughs> just to oh, try to hurt as many feelings as possible I mean, that's all right. wow thank you I had not heard that before well, hello, everybody. My name's Kathy Kitzman. I'm the treasurer of Trinity House Theater. And I uh, want to thank you again for joining us for tonight's concert. Um, we're going to take a little break and let these guys uh, have a rest and a bathroom break or whatever in a few minutes here. Um, about a year ago, you know, this is, we used to give out these welcome bags to people when they came by the theater for the first time. and. This is the last little lone bag that's been sitting out in our lobby ever since the pandemic hit. So if you haven't been to the theater in person yet, I hope you'll come by and we'll give you one of these for real. Um, so as the treasurer, I get to say thank you for all of your continued support. Um, people have been really, really generous to us this past year. We've been fortunate to get some grants, but we always have lots of things that need doing around here. And if you enjoy the concert tonight, <clears throat> even if you don't, no, I'm not gonna say. <laughs> no, everybody, dig in those piggy banks, dig in your wallets, uh, go online to trinityhousetheater.org slash support slash donate. It's there on the website. You can find it really easily. Um, give us a little, throw something our way. It would really be helpful. Uh, so. Take a break for a few minutes and enjoy the rest of the show. A listening room like the Trinity House is so coveted uh, by songwriters uh, because people are there for the express purpose of the artists and the music. As you play in bars and um, even coffee houses sometimes and everyone's talking to their friends or ordering a drink and not really listening to the music, but... I pretty much only want to play listening rooms anymore. At somewhere like Trinity House, you know that the eyes are on you. They're really taking in what you have to say. And like, as a songwriter, my story is like all that I have, you know, and um, just knowing that people are listening and actually caring about what I have to say, that's, that means the world to me as a musician. When you put your heart and soul into writing a song to have people give you the respect of listening to it and even seek it out is just, it's such a big part of what that song is when you have an audience that's listening so intently and responding to that, so it means everything to me. It's really tough right now because of your streaming shows and there's no idea if anybody's paying attention or not and when you can play a room like this it's so uh, amazing even when people are not making any sound even when they're silent they're engaged so having to take a pretty stark break from um, like performing live it kind of got me back into songwriting and just like banging out songs because that's all I really had. You know, there's like, you can of course live stream and Twitch and Facebook Live and all that stuff, but um, it got pretty old pretty fast because it's like I was, I was wanting that live aspect of it. So I kind of just like shifted gears and really focused on songwriting, writing new songs and um, because of that, I am about to record another full-length album, so I kind of have the pandemic to thank for um, letting me have the time to like create more instead of just focusing on the same three-hour, 45-minute set for the shows that I had to play. Um, the forced break 
uh, from the pandemic uh, actually has been, I think, for me a positive for writing uh, because I've spent more time on it. I've spent more time in workshops uh, because you can do them easily from your home and you can do it with people in California, in Washington, in Illinois, wherever. And so that's, I guess, one of the, the bright lights of this uh, because I think that, um, you know, normally I would have been doing a lot more shows and then preparing for those shows and probably not writing as much as I have been. And for that, I'm, I'm grateful because I feel like I'm learning more. Perfect. Thank you so much, Mike. Appreciate awesome. it. Yeah, that was great. Writing's always been way more important to me. The, the performance aspect of it was always kind of the cherry on top when you had something that you wanted people to hear, but I've, I've definitely been more driven and more drawn to the, the creative aspect of music. So it's almost kind of uh, been an opportunity to, to not have to focus on some of the stuff that takes more work for me, which is the presentation and getting ready and getting the nerves up to go and play for people. And I've just gotten to pile up a bunch of songs and uh, it's been, it's been good for that. I, I hate saying that anything about this whole thing has been good, but uh, if nothing else, it's it's given me a perfect excuse to stay at home and, and not have to provide excuses for not playing a bunch of shows because they're not really available. But I tell you what, it feels really good to be here though. So maybe I'm coming around for the performance aspect. Anyway, uh, this is, uh, May 1st is my mother's birthday. She's not with us anymore. And she was a remarkable woman. Uh, it's taken me a long time to write a song for her, but uh, I did recently, so this is a new song. And uh, it is, it's called Letting Go. You were, you were mentioning Letting Go, and this is uh, called Letting Go. And it, uh, we had some tragedy in our family, and it was, I had a hard time asking my mom how she made it through, so. I did it now. How did you manage? To even laugh Cook a dinner, sing a song Teach a class With no protective armor or leaden shield On this unfamiliar family battlefield Day after Christmas 65 Mustang full of boys on a little joyride If you could travel back in time you'd never let him leave Spent 70 years learning how a mother grieves Letting go, getting past No one told you how long this would last an uphill battle Fall back down He was your hidden scar till the day you went home The hole left in your heart till the day you went home As I lay my hands on your tired feet I'm reminded at some point we're all set free From this aching pain life accumulates And the knowledge you have that no one escapes Letting go, getting past No one told you how long this would last an uphill battle Fall back down 
He was your hidden scar till the day you went home. Hole left in your heart till the day you went home. You were our rock, where did you find the will? Defined by the details of that night so still Family gets what a family needs Held together by a string of rosary beads Letting go, getting past No one told you how long this would last an uphill battle Fall back down He was your hidden scar Till the day you went home The hole left in your heart Till the day you went home Happy birthday, Mom. Beautiful. That is a treasure of a song. Yeah. Take it away, Emma. <laughs> I don't even want to go anywhere. <laughs> I'm going to go to my mom's. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, this one's um, more part of the growing up than the letting go. Um, it's kind of, this song's cool to me because, like, it's a, it's getting to know Emma song. <laughs> it's like a, taking a walk through, like, my childhood and, like, up to now and still don't really know what I'm doing or where I'm going but um, by the time you see this I will have turned 19 and uh, so that's something. <laughs> this one's called Strawberries. Try to cling to sweet sixteen. Ten. 
land of spent and grass that's green Film is rolling, where's the screen? I'm all alone, can you hear me scream? I'm all alone, can you hear me scream? Mother works your fingers to the bone Father's up all hours, does his thinking all alone It comes to me in waves and I'm so close Keep it nostalgic, huh? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep it nostalgic. Uh, so this song uh, I wrote over quarantine as well. This, I guess it was last summer, last fall. And my good friend Justin Stovepipe Stover, who's an outstanding songwriter, uh, challenged me to write a song about baseball. Which I was not super thrilled about. I, I, I struggled with it. I was just like, what am I gonna? I didn't know. My head went to like take me out to the ball game. I was like, I didn't want to write a song about take me out to the ball game. But I started thinking about uh, just playing catch, and uh, and then as I was considering writing a song about playing catch, I noticed that when you ask somebody if they play catch, you you get an answer, but you also get like a relationship. Like they tell you about somebody. It's 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 uncanny. You ask somebody if they play basketball, it's like no. Like, Do you play soccer? Yes. You play catch. Oh, yeah, I play with my grandpa all the time when I was growing up. Or my kid's getting old enough that we can start to play now. It's every single time. Try it. It's pretty cool. Uh, and I think it's just one of those games that you have to have somebody else, really. So, um, otherwise it'd be called Throw. <laughs> right? <laughs> I was not playing that one, but okay. So this, this song is, uh, you're not going to believe it, but it's called Catch. He said, why aren't you outside with that brand new mitt I sent you? And I said, Grandpa, I'm so grateful you send anything at all. But that glove hardly holds a ball. And he left his ass off. said how could I forget you can't just send a kid a mid without a good old heart to heart about just how to break it in you can't rush your glove to greatness that's why I'm starting you right now go get it I'll show you how my grand Showed me how You pound on the pocket with your fist Tap a mallet on the webbing Rubbing a little lanolin Tie it up tight under your mattress And you'll feel it breaking in Once you're out for crying out loud, playing catch with it. Those summers that he came felt like more than just a game. We'd spend all those hours outside. Shagging flies and reacquainting And I'd say, Grandpa, I'm so grateful 
We found all this time to talk But come on, man, could you throw the ball? is as I grew out of that glove but I kept it safe and sound and now my own kids growing up so I found it and I pulled it out turns out she's a lefty and I hear grandpa laughing now We break in her brand new mitt Same way my grandpa did Pound on the pocket with your fist Tap a mallet on the webbing Try it up tight under your mattress But it's no use breaking in Unless we're out For crying out loud Playing catch with it Let's get out now For crying out loud Let's play some catch kid Beautiful. Beautiful. Never thought I'd cry hearing a song about playing catch. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? Right? It wouldn't work if it was called throw. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. That song takes my breath away. Yeah. Thanks. It really does. We, that was a... Uh, makes me smile and cry at the same time. So Mike and I played... Uh, it was Wheatland, right? It was a Wheatland... Yeah music thing and, and that was pretty shortly after I wrote that song and you sent me the most beautiful email about just I mean that's never really happened to me about somebody just sending me a personalized note about what a song meant and it was <laughs> it, it kind of kicked off our French I mean it just yeah. like ever since then wherever you know our careers have gone we've it's been pretty cool to get to know you around that so well that's song thank you for that note it, it was uh, my wife's uh, father was a, a big baseball player and uh, we still have his glove and uh, I took it to Comerica Park a couple years ago when they 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 let people come on the field and play play catch yeah. and uh, uh, Dan Petrie and Dave Rosema were there and I, I told them that story the story of my grand my my wife's grandfather or my wife's father and he never made it to the big leagues but his his cousin did uh, and so his glove did that day, and and they both grabbed the glove and they said, "Oh, I'm, I'm playing with that glove. I'm playing with that glove." Cool. And it was broken in just like you, yeah. just like you said. There's a there's a right way to do it, for sure. Unless you have a little glove that my kids have, they're like purple and pink <laughs> and plastic, and I'm like, you can't. It doesn't do anything. To no, there's no shaving oil. cream does not work on this glove. <laughs> it's hopeless. Uh, this is my last song, uh, although we do have a surprise at the end. But uh, I'm gonna do uh, the last song from um, my record, and it's called No Way to Live. And it's just, um, it's really just meant to uh, shine a light on the issue of homelessness. And uh, we, the, the song has been successful in raising some funds for uh, a couple of uh, organizations that assist the homeless. So it's called No Way to Live. I sleep on the sidewalk, the cracks in my back All my possessions in a clear plastic sack I got holes in my pockets and my shoes aren't untied Cold's moving in and there's no place to hide I don't ask for much, I'm just looking for change Is a living this life have clouded my brain 
But I'm reading my book as I sit by the curb Most people figure I'm somewhat disturbed Why can't you turn your life around, they ask Why can't you turn your life around It's a question I hear every day of the year Why can't you turn your life around Don't judge me or think I'm just down on my luck It's like a catch-22, that's where I'm stuck No training to speak of, job prospects are dim Could I lock one on my wages, but I couldn't pay rent My skin's turned to leather, my eyes have gone dark can you look past it all and see deep in my heart? I used to have goals and I used to make plans. Now I sit here hoping someone gives me a hand. Why can't you turn your life around, they ask. Why can't you turn your life around? It's no way to live and there's nothing to give. Why can't you turn your life around? I'm somebody's daughter, I'm somebody's son Someone who played on your street carefree in the sun I might have been through a war or run away from it all Watched over your kids as they're learning to crawl My story is told on a handwritten sign It's the only thing left I can truly call mine To protect me from rain I sleep under a bridge I have no idea how far I am from the edge Why can't you turn your life around, they ask Why can't you turn your life around When you're always on guard, eye contact is hard Why can't you turn your life around Maybe I got a will and I still have a voice Do you really think I'm out here by choice? I pray to God and I hope he can hear That I ain't in this place this time next year Why can't you turn your life around, they ask Why can't you turn your life around? It's no way to live and there's nothing to give Why can't you turn your life around? Why can't you turn your life around? They ask, why can't you turn your life around? It's no way to live and there's nothing to give Why can't you turn your life around? That went better than rehearsal. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Thank you. Good. That was fun. What a good that was, right that was fun to do with you. Thank you very yeah. much for joining me. <clears throat> All right. I guess this one's my last one. Um, yeah, so this one, it's, it's a pretty old one of mine, but um, I haven't recorded it yet or, like, released it or anything. Um, it's recorded now. Um, it's going to be released pretty soon. Um, the initial idea for this song was that we were going to do like a stop motion video with Larry Larson. Um, yeah, but sadly he passed before um, we got to do that. So Strawberries, the video for the music video for Strawberries was kind of like an homage to Larry and what we were going to do for this song. But um, yeah, this one's going to be out pretty soon in single format. This one's called Stones. So I 
this ain't go alone Smiles about as sweet as a bottle of gin It seems that we're getting old I've scoured this earth for someone like you Does it bring you joy to be so cruel? I watch the crows fly by every day Wishing I could be as free as they such a beautiful yeah it's that beautiful. chorus is so good yeah well thank you guys for uh playing the show yeah. with me thank it was you. cool to cool to meet you emma and yeah, always good to, to see you. you ward <laughs> thanks to uh, the trinity house too for, uh, yeah mm-hmm. you're here fighting us this is uh <laughs> this is cathartic i tell you what this feels like medication for me it's just very cool to be on this beautiful stage and just felt like there's something to prepare for you know <laughs> Who knew that that was something that you'd miss, right? The work that goes into getting ready for it. But I'll take it. I'll tell you what. Uh, so I have a lot of friends that are associated with the Trinity House. Um, 
and I'm in a songwriter group with Annie Caps and Dave Boutet and Dan Bracken and Charlie Walmsley and I, I see these guys in the Trinity Hope Trinity House open mic gang stopping through and stuff so uh, Andy Baker invited me to be a part of that group uh, after F Farm last I guess it would be two, two years ago now oh my gosh and uh, the first song I had ever written to a, a prompt was this one the prompt was called was Black Ice uh, and it, thank God it came quick because it doesn't always so uh, but yeah this is kind of a song about the the one that got away that got away before it came really serious so you only remember that it was like stellar and it's like doesn't really give credence to the relationship because it's all, it was all good right <laughs> it never got never got hurtful and bad um, so this is called black ice <laughs> You know, it was never really mentioned One word about a last goodbye You and me, we were off in our directions Not lost, but it was love alright And yet, I don't forget Still no regrets Honey, how about you? I didn't notice we were slipping, baby, till our tail was spinning wild. Our love hit that black ice, I can see it now. I didn't know we really had it, baby, till it all came to an end. No, we weren't meant for forever, just one hell of a way back. So many songs from broken hearted Folks mourn the one that got away You and me, I think we're on to something, darling Nail the high note and leave that stage And yet, I don't forget Still no regrets Honey, how about you? I didn't notice we were burning, baby, till our flame had flickered out. Our love froze the black ice, I can feel it now. I didn't know we even had it, baby, till it all came to an end. Oh, we weren't meant for forever. over our heels Maybe that's the time to take a dive before it gets real But if we weren't growing together we sure spun a wicked wheel Oh, some love needs to leave to be revealed I didn't know what we were sipping, baby, till our love was blacking out. Pour one more over black ice. We smiled, we took them down. Now all that I remember is we had it, baby, and without some awful end. Yeah, we weren't meant for forever, just one hell of a way back when Oh, we weren't meant for forever Just one hell of a way back when Thanks, everyone. Appreciate it. Yeah. What a great line! Thanks, man. What a great line. Well, we, uh, as a group, we uh, we we selected a, a song to play as a kind of a, a goodbye and a thank you to the 
Trinity House, boy, we just can't thank everybody enough. I mean, uh, amen to that. And please, please, if uh, if you got it, give it to this place. Well, two please. things we should mention our greenhouse, right? Or the green yeah. room? Green, green. Room. It's not the green not, room Zoom. Green room said greenhouse. The green room following, Zoom. <laughs> following the yeah, show. Yeah. yeah. So tune in. Yeah. Get uh, you can get tickets on the Trinity House uh, website or information on the Facebook page, but... Uh, it's a little late for that now. Might be a little late for that now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> but you, That's you what should, happens when we You should have got your tickets and you should have got the information if you're watching it right now. <laughs> and as a newbie to the Trinity House, you should just look out for shows here because this room, if you like to listen to songs, and this is the place to do it, this is the place to do it, and I'm so incredibly grateful to have been invited to this and I cannot wait to do it with an audience that's going to be an integral yeah. part of the show I feel like yeah. can, I, can I tell a story about this song real quick that I just learned yep so um, this song did we say what the song is not yet okay it's called There's a Place in the World for a Gambler by, by Fogelberg. Fogelberg. yeah so uh, this is actually the first song I ever learned how to play on guitar and it was in secret because my dad I was not the kind of kid that you let touch your guitar I'll say that right now um, but I did it when my dad was at work and he had this old Yari Alvarez and these Fogelberg books and I it's a good one to learn because it's just yeah. those, those three chords and uh, that, that guitar that Yari Alvarez my dad bought off of Terry Burkett who is on the board at the Trinity House and he just told me that we were talking <laughs> about the guitar he's like yeah I love wow. that guitar and I'm like how did you love that guitar he's like I sold that guitar to your dad <laughs> So the guitar that I learned to play on was that was Terry's at the Trinity House, and we're playing it now at the Trinity at the Trinity circle. House. Yeah, man, full circle, totally. Well, so sorry for playing your guitar while you were, were dead, but it worked out. So we're all right. The secrets are out. He knows <laughs> it's here. So we're without further ado, we're gonna play "Place in the World for a Gambler." in the world for a gambler There's a burden that only can bear There's a place in the world for a gambler And he sees
let it shine. Oh, let it shine. Let it shine. Oh, let it shine. Let it shine. Oh, let it shine. Cool guys. Yeah. We did it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, Thanks, thank Emma. you. Thank you, Mike. Thanks, Kyle. Thanks, Kyle. Thank you guys. Awesome. This is great. And thank, thank you, Trinity, Trinity House. Yeah. yeah, thank you, Trinity House. <laughs> thank yeah. you, Trinity House. Yes. Yes. This is a treat. treat. I can't wait to come back. <laughs>